Okay, uh, work has been kind of thin lately, so I've uh, agreed to take on the assignment of doing this uh, episode of What the Fuck. Um, you know, it's a sort of a summation of events uh, here on YouTube in the atheist community. Uh, I don't know when we did the last one. Who cares? Whatever. Uh, I guess the first thing is, hey, I haven't done any funny videos in a while. Uh, I haven't been very funny. Uh, it's a problem. It's other people too. I'm kind of depressed. It's depression. I don't know why it's spreading, but there seems to be this depression problem spreading throughout the community. Everybody seems a little bit down. Everybody seems a little unhappy. I don't know what we're going to do about that. I'll have to think about it. Funny video would help. Uh, but I have a headache. Really, really, really have a headache. Don't really want to bother. So anyway, uh, uh, I guess the other news is I did that stick cam thing. You know, that stick cam. I did that. Uh, goat, goat, goat had one of his rooms. And it's uh, kind of a weird place, you know, because you don't even know when you can talk and when you can't talk, and then it's the, the delay and it's all this stuff, and it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit awkward. But it's interesting technology. Uh, I'd say it was interesting. But it's kind of a weird concept. I mean, everybody sits around looking at each other. It's kind of creepy. You know, no one says anything. Everybody's just kind of looking. What the fuck is that? And then the girl's in like a slip, and it's like, whoa, that's pretty cool. Whoa, look at her. And uh, you know, it's kind of it's interesting, but it's, it is weird. Kind of a weird concept. Uh, so maybe we'll do that again. Maybe we'll have a room someday. Didn't think my camera would work for that, but it worked. Camera won't work on the computer, but it'll work for the stick cam. Kind of strange, you know. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so I'll try that again. I actually won the argument too. Defeated them all. Wiped them all out on the argument of object, objective morality. I really got them on that one. Beat them up good. Uh, all right, next. Uh, I got kind of pissed off at the end because Goat just started making fun of that Firefly guy, you know? Started telling a bunch of bad Mexican jokes. Didn't like that at all. Mm, don't need to be making old Mexican jokes. They already got enough problems with Mexicans. Don't need you making jokes about them. All right, so, uh, Tommy from the Bronx. Okay, episode six and seven. Uh, really bad. And seven was in two parts. Oh, man, bore you to tears. Really bad. Uh, but, uh, Fake Sagan was back in that one. And, uh, and it looked like shit. So if you want to see Fake Sagan looking his worst, yeah, you gotta see that video. Might be worth taking some screenshots of that, using in the future. You know, he's always picking on other people's appearance, you know? Guy doesn't look too good. Uh, so what else is news? Uh, well, I took some took some crap here, you know. I mean, there's uh, these people. Well, here, well, we'll get to the uh, this this spell of the happy loser. Okay, had a little bit of a fight with her about this whole vegetarian thing. But it's only on a small point. But then all these people started harassing me about this shit, you know, because I said, ah, oh, you should stay exterminate the goddamn fucking animals, and then we want to worry about hunters hunting them because they'll be all gone. I think it's a fine solution. I mean, we don't have dinosaurs, and we're not all going around saying, oh, shit, I miss Tyrannosaurus Rexes. You know, fuck it. You know, who misses the dodo bird? No one misses it. You don't have to make them extinct. You know, there's plenty of deers in the country. Just put all the deer in one place. And just say, you know, put a fence around them, and you got a few hundred of them. Who the hell cares? You can have, like, a few hundred here, and a few hundred there, and a few hundred there. Who cares? And then in zoos and shit. But there's no point in having them around here. Spreading disease, they eat, like, they're doing like ten zillion dollars worth of damage. You can't buy a plant in this goddamn state without a deer eating it. Uh, we're getting run over by the cars, and it's just a terrible menace. Because the goddamn fucking hunters won't let us kill them. And, uh, you know, they just want to kill one-third of the population every year. So instead of killing 90% of them like you need to do, they won't do that. They just kill one-third every year, every year, every year, every year. Terrible mess. And so I'm not going to apologize for saying we should exterminate them because they're just they're serving no fucking purpose. You know, we can't, we're not going to treat them right. They have no fucking place to live in peace. So fuck it. We don't need them. Yeah, just get rid of them. Uh, so anyway, well, I guess I'm just going to get more grief. Well, fuck it. Who cares? Grief, grief, grief. Uh, and the other issue that was brought up was some of these assholes getting on my ass about because I said some comment about Canada. I'm just making a simple point that Canada hasn't had to spend billions and billions and billions of dollars every year on a military fucking budget. Because they have had the USA to protect them. Through the whole Cold War, they never had to spend any money on the military. And uh, Japan was in the same boat. You know, after World War II, we forced them not to have a military. And they still don't have much of a military. And we've sort of, you know, because we've guaranteed their security. 
And uh, the point is, is just that, yeah, so it's a, sort of a little bit of a free ride. It's, I'm not making any huge accusation. I'm not saying you're all a bunch of freeloading bums. I'm just making a fucking simple point about the facts. You know, it's sort of a free ride. It'd be nice if the United States didn't have to worry if some superpower was next door that spent all the money on the bombs and the missiles and the, all the other crap, and we could just uh, take the $400 billion a year and, uh, you know, spend on health care or some other bullshit. Uh, so anyway, so fuck you. I don't want to hear any more about Canada. I got nothing against fucking goddamn Canada. My father's fucking goddamn Canadian, for fucking Christ's sakes. So fucking get off my ass, jackass Canadians. Fucking fuckers. Uh, so what else? Uh, yeah, so the Amazing Atheist book came out, and uh, don't know how many it sold though. He hasn't done. Until it hasn't said anything about how many it sold. So haven't seen any reviews. <clears throat> so all the people I subscribe to, none of them read a book apparently, uh, because none of them did any book reviews. No, nobody don't dislikes the Amazing Atheist did a book review anyway. The only people did a book review are people, you know, that uh, is, is on the ass kissing list there. So who knows. Whatever, it didn't, look, it wouldn't appeal to me anyway, it's just a bunch of crap about, you know, bad mouth this, bad mouth that, blah, 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 sex, blah, 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 who cares? Alright, so what else is on the list? Alright, I watched a couple of these Iron uh, Crossland videos, right? I mean, some reason I subscribed to him a while back. I'm listening to this guy. He's fucking out of his mind. What the fuck is he, the last couple of videos, man, on magnetism and... Uh, Elasto-electricity or whatever. This is a fucking lunatic. I'm saying, what the fuck is this guy talking about? And he's a one of these Ron Paul guys, too. He thinks Ron Paul's brilliant. Yeah, she's brilliant. Uh, the man, the guy's on his fucking outer space, for Christ's sake. You ought to get together with that uh, Matt guy, you know? And they can invent themselves a whole crazy ass universe. You know, mystical this and master magical that's and all this bullshit. Yeah, people. Like life isn't fucked up enough. They have to like fairy tale at the pieces, you know. Oh, I got superpowers. I just can't make them work. You see, usually I just point my finger and I can make things happen. I can make that, but you know, it's broken today. I mean, you know, it doesn't work today. I mean, what the fuck is that shit? There ain't no superpowers. All we're full of is shit, piss and shit. We're just fucking giant maggots, goddammit. Big, giant fucking maggots. You put the stuff in this hole here, and it comes out the other fucking hole. That's all we fucking are. God damn it. You know, we got the penises and stuff, but, you know, beyond that, we're just fucking maggots. Maggots with a penis. All right, so, uh, what else? Uh, well, like I said, there was a couple of people who, who were, uh, talking about their depression. And uh, it was kind of depressing, the depression. Oh, motherfucker. Goddamn, that was really fucking goddamn happening. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, I cut that part out of the video. I had a little problem getting my eyepiece back in. All right, uh, where was I? I don't fucking remember. You remember where I was? Yeah, it's this depression thing, you know? It's not good to be depressed. So we gotta do something about that. Can't have a bunch of people depressed around here. Uh, oh yeah, but that was other news, uh, Dill, Dill did a video, Dill, and, uh, uh, but, you know, just, just recently did drawing of her for no good reason, uh, because some jackass people told me to, uh, but anyway, she says she's, uh, maybe, uh, not doing any more videos, so, I mean, two weeks ago, she was this, three, she was talking about how, well, now that she's done with her, uh, atheist series, she's gonna go on to, uh, her moral, whatever she called it, you know, some sort of, doctrine she has about morality and so she was going to explain that to us next so I guess that's off you know so uh, anyway so she's talking like she isn't going to be making any more videos so I don't know hey, I'm not going to really miss her uh, <clears throat> and uh, what else was there so yeah back to the depression thing it's not good being depressed it's a waste of time being depressed it's all a head game you know don't let yourself get down no. Well, I admit, okay, sometimes I let uh, myself get depressed, but uh, don't let yourself get depressed. That's how it works, right? Somebody's depressed, say, oh, don't be depressed, look on the bright side, blah, 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 blah. And then they go home and drink a bottle of tequila, you know, because they're depressed. 
It's kind of a joke, the whole depression thing. Life is depressing. All right, so anyway, the, the only good uh, thing that happened this week, or week and a half, or whatever, uh, somebody sent me a link to this Martha Costello. She does this thing called the news, and the G is silent, so I should have just said news. And, you know, it's like that daily show kind of thing, just a couple minutes long, though, and, you know, she makes fun of two or three, you know, she does two or three news stories, makes fun of some politicians, and, uh, you know, she does a pretty good job doing this every fucking day. I gotta give her credit for that, uh, you know. Some of it's kind of amateurish humor, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, you know, hell, every day. Fuck. <laughs>